All right, CZ Scorpion Magazine's lips cracking. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Okay, so as you may know, um, I uploaded, like, a video a couple months back about CZ Scorpion Magazine's being complete POS shits, and I was uh, corrected. Um, CZ Scorpion, um, the carbine gun series, you've seen these before. If you're looking at buying one or got one, you may have heard about the issues with the magazine lips cracking, okay? And I'm going to show you two magazines here of the same age, around the same age, or date of uh, production. I don't know if you can see that there. The one on the left, 2015. The one on the right is 2015. Both of them are 2015 production. And this one completely cracked. I didn't drop it or anything. It's just under normal use. It just fucked off. And these right here, you can see, if I can get the camera to focus in correctly. There it goes. You can see inside of the feed lips, they're cracking, actually. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's on the inside part of the feed lip that they're actually starting to crack, not on the outside. But sooner or later, this magazine is going to end up in the depths of obscurity like this one here. Complete POS. So CZ sent me um, a new production magazine. These are the 2016 production magazines. I'm just trying to move these POSs out the way. Okay. This right here is a 2016 production. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that is indeed a 2016 production. One right there. Okay. Now, I got to inspecting this magazine thoroughly, and the only two differences I can tell in the older POS ones that crack and the newer one is, for one, the most obvious one was when they were shipped to me, the POS magazine, it just has the imported fucking 9x19 floor plate here. And the good magazine that they sent me is a CZ USA floor plate. Okay, those are the two noticeable markings. And you can see the cast marks and the polymer on the left and not really the one on the right. That's just for the floor plates. But what we were looking at <coughs> is the actual uh, feed lips. Let me try to get this situated in, in a way you can see. The one on the left is the POS mag, and the one on the right is the newer production mag. And if you look at both of these magazine, right here, let me just, I'm just going to bring them in at an angle, kind of like that, okay? If you look at both of them, let me zoom up a little bit, you'll notice that the one on the left has a 45 degree um, cut, or, you know, right here, right there. See right in there? It's 45 degree cut, okay? It's flat right there. It's flush up here, 45 degree, and then, oops, goes 90 degrees down that way. Whereas the newer production one is completely rounded on the sides. Right in this area, it's completely round. Okay, there's no radius, 45 degree cuts in it. And if you put the magazine side by side, you'll definitely be able to tell a difference right here. Okay, now, now you can see clearly what the difference is one on the left and the one on the right and that does make sense because the one on the left technically has a little bit more polymer and I notice inside the polymer is thicker as well like inside where it's dark in these edges here it's thicker than the polymer on this side and this magazine feels a little bit more slippery than this one now that could be because this one has been shot a bunch and I've used it for suppressed applications and there could be more dirty nasty on it I just noticed that this one is definitely more slicker feeling um, I've had this loaded up for about I want to say probably about four weeks to like a full month of fully loaded and the only thing I've done with it is unload it and reload it unload it and reload it in the gun like you know I'm putting it inside the gun taking it out putting it because what that does is it pushes down on these rounds, and when you pop it out of the gun, it let this under the spring tension, it lets it force up and hit the feed lip pretty hard, 
and those springs are freaking in there really really tight so that puts a lot of pressure on this feed lip here and so i've been doing that you know come home whatever i'll fuck with the the gun a little bit in and out and now the gun and for the last four weeks i have not seen a single crack on here now given enough time there could develop cracks on it but that's going to take me a little bit longer to determine because it took about with these pos magazines this one took about probably three months and it was fucked completely and i've had this one for probably going on about six months and this really has only been in the gun a handful of times and shot suppressed but mainly just kept loaded and you can see it's already just completely fucked but those are the differences between the new production CZ Scorpion magazines and the old POS production CZ Scorpion magazines. Now, I will make another video, an update video, if this magazine even remotely shows any sign of fuckery at the feed lip area, then I'm going to be like, it's this gun is useless to me. Because the most critical part of a firearm is the magazine in which it feeds from. And the CZ Scorpion is such a freaking nice gun. It I would actually make it my freaking go-to gun over the AR-15, okay, if this magazine issue wasn't such a concern of mine, okay? Other than that, the weak point of this gun is going to be these magazines. But until I get some more testing on this, the time will only tell. That's pretty much the end of the video. And I'll see you bitches later. Oh, and by the way, um, I've got this new, this will be in another video, this new Ruga 1022. This is the light model. And I'll be showing that in a video sooner or later. Midwest Industry Rail, Nikon P223 Scope 3x32. Yeah, I'll be showing that pretty soon. That's going to be another video if you're into 22. See you bitches later.